Oh, hey, uh, hello everybody. Um, today I wanted to show you a little home base that I created. And um, you know, I printed this from a 3D, on a 3D printer, this case. Um, I found this case online and heavily modified it for my, uh, for my purposes. I wish I could design things like this, but there are just people that's awesome at that. But what this is, is a little home base that, um, you know, it has an antenna on there. It's got a little screen in there. And um, then it's got um, a USB plug at the back here. But that's actually where the um, SEED uh, a little mini module lives, which is awesome. You know, the other of this kind of cases, if you use a Haltech, the power comes out the side. You'd have to use a USB on the side. And this case was originally made for a T, uh, um, T deck, I think it's called the Lilygo T deck. And the power of the USB comes in, in the front here. But what's nice about this one is the USB comes in the back now. You can actually move it to the back. So, um, on the inside of this, this just clips on there. There you can see the little monitor. Um, of a little uh, screen or LCD. Um, inside here, there's the um, the antenna, the pigtail for the antenna. This is the Bluetooth antenna. And then there you can see the little module. And you can see I also added a little button. So you can press the button from the top. So if you looked at it from the back, it uh, would look something like that. You can see that there's a little um, seed mini module. And I'll put up some pictures on how I soldered the screen on onto there. But that's basically a little holder for that, you slide it in there, you bring the wires out, you connect it to the, to the uh, LCD, and um, you connect it to the pigtail over here to your antenna, and then it just basically all snaps together again, like that. Oops, yep, that's on the front, and this one's on the back. Pretty simple, all snapped together. And there you have a little home unit. So if I uh, were to plug this in, um, I will plug this into the, the back over here. And you will see that um, that now comes on. And, and I really like the, the back part that it, uh, uh, you know, because now I can stand on my desk and I can just bring a, a, a USB cable from the back. But that's where it is. If I look in the mobile app, uh, we can see that, um, I think I called this VSH, we'll connect to it. Um, so this is a I2C or I2 squared, I squared C, whatever, uh, a little LCD monitor. Um, and there it is, see at home, there's all my other nodes, as you can see, I can uh, try and uh, 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 do a trace route to something. It works just like any other unit. Oh, it's still uh, discovering everything. It will do the trace route in a second here. One thing I must say about these uh, uh, displays, there's the trace route result, um, uh, about these uh, uh, little minis, is they take a little bit of time to get going. But once they go in, they're good. Um, here's a little button. You can see I can scroll through. Um, this is one of those two uh, uh, color LCDs where the top line is, uh, is yellow and the, and the rest is blue, as you can see there. But, um, you know, um, which is nice. And um, I've set it inside the app. You can see here is um, radio configuration and need to display. You can see that I have a screen timeout that I've made longer. You can see that I've got an auto carousel and you'll see that it carousels through everything one at a time over here, which is also pretty nice, you know, so it will stay on for 3,600 seconds 
and it's going to carousel between all the messages every uh, 10 seconds which is pretty neat so that's a little unit there I thought I'd show you that I will do some updates to this unit later by adding a um, uh, uh, some 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 more uh, um, things to it um, so stay tuned for that thank you and um, have a great day